everyone. Hello. After a long time. Very long time. <laughs> but nice to be back on your screens. Absolutely. And it's been really many months now since we've been uploading to our our channel and we're here to uh, tell you a little bit about what we've been up to and what we're going to do. Yeah, this morning we have actually been planning a little bit um, the return to France and what we're going to do there those days when we will return. Yeah, so we're here in Helsinki at the moment and we have been just on the phone to our builder who is going to come at the beginning of March and install our kitchen doors finally. So we're just getting everything lined up to make that trip very soon. Yeah, it's so exciting to get finally those doors there that we have been dreaming of so long and um, to get the light streaming in through the windows and, and generally to have doors <laughs> to yeah. prevent also the cold coming in. So at the moment we're looking at our flights and getting together all the bits and pieces we've been collecting over the, the last couple of months um, to go to the house and so it's, it's very exciting. And to see the spring, the French spring, as it's been very cold here in Finland and the weather forecast um, shows that it's going to continue cold. We have had now, uh, was it minus 20 something mm -hmm. Celsius this morning and uh, all January was very cold. We have had lots of blizzards here and so much snow. And yeah, did we uh, have snow since November? Yeah, already? the 1st of November and um, yeah, it seems like the full February and March will be very cold here in Finland. So it's nice to escape to France and to enjoy the sun and spring a little bit. So it's actually the longest period that we have been now um, in Finland without going to France. When we returned back to Finland after the summer, we started right away to do some extra shootings to our film, to our art film. Yeah, and I think it's something we haven't shared on this on this channel necessarily. Um, we mentioned something about that earlier for sure, and yeah. we showed a little bit, but uh, so we have been making uh, a trilogy of of short art films. You already started in when was it two thousand and two thousand sixteen was the premiere. I started the project in uh, around like two thousand thirteen. It's been very slow because it's been kind of a side project and not much funding to it. And then the that was the first film, and then the second film we made together during the COVID years, mm. and then we've just now completed the third, and it's all based in Jyrki's home region of Eastern Finland and uh, called Karelia. It's a incredibly beautiful area and um, it seems for me very exotic place coming from Ireland. It's, it's so different, it's endless, endless forests and this feeling of ancientness, it's, it's really the it feels very east. Welcome to Karelia. This is my home region and we wanted to take you along with us to visit this very special and beautiful region. Karelia is full of untouched forests and lakes and it's a very far, vast area. And Karelia is the most easternmost point of the European Union. And here we are, for example, at the moment, standing by the lake. And we, I'm standing here in Finland, but the other side of the lake is in Russia. Karelia is divided by the Russian and Finnish border. So big part of Karelia is actually on that side. And the border has been moving by the time in the Second World War, Soviet Union actually took a huge part of Karelia from Finland. But Karelia is, is very special. We have very old traditions here, uh, very gorgeous, tasty food, 
and it is a it is an old way of living together with nature I would say when you drive here along the small villages and 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 the roads you see these old houses and people living their own life you see these chasonas which are these old uh, wooden uh, shrines and and yeah it's just lovely to be home And these films that we've been making, they um, look to the culture and the original language of the area. Karelian language is very endangered and is about to die out if not big actions are done towards to maintain the language. Uh, there are only 10,000 speakers in Finland and, and around 50,000 speakers in Russian side. And these are just estimations. So um, our film was the first ever made film pro project in Karelian language. So that tells a lot about the state of the language. Finland has never given an official status of minority language to Karelian, even though the language is as old as Finnish language is. We want to show you some clips from our films. Our film Vene looks at the tradition of marriage the second, Lindu, explores death, and Ilmu, the third film, is depicting birth. The scenes here give you a flavour of the wonderful culture, rites of passage and transition, all bound up in the mythology of the Karelian region. And we have been very lucky that there has been now a, quite a, a big interest in the project and, and uh, we have, uh, since premiering the trilogy, we have, we have um, 
been touring in Estonia and the films are uh, being translated into Japanese. The first two have already toured Japan and we showed one in France last summer, two summers ago, was yeah. it? Two summers ago. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's slowly gaining interest uh, internationally and uh, yeah, it's been really wonderful. We had the premiere of the, the last film in November and then we put all these three films together as like one whole trilogy and then we launched the trilogy just a couple of weeks ago. So between filming and editing and events and I was still playing concerts and then we went home to Ireland for Christmas. We just couldn't make it to make make a Charent living video. It just we just didn't have have the time and and we just weren't weren't uh, getting to France at any point. It just seemed like we just had to put it to the side. <laughs> yeah, we had great we had a great time in in Ireland. It was very very windy. We tried to make even a, like a little clip where we speak, but you just cannot hear anything of the clip because it was so windy. Yeah, but it was wonderful to get home and be with, with the family. We hope the winter has been very pleasant in Charente and I believe so because we constantly follow the um, weather forecast from there too and it seemed that some nights were maximum like minus four and that's good if it didn't get any colder because the plants would have suffered even though every plant we have are very hardy up to minus ten even even the bougainvillea is, is quite hardy and um, now we are very excited to see how the, the garden will be when we get I think there. scared <laughs> to see what's scared. survived. Yeah. But it's just the way of it when you live between two places. There is often surprises to, to meet when we go back. But you just have to hope for the best that everything is, everything is fine. We've, there, actually, there was a lot of rain, I think, over the... The winter so um yeah even a bit floody sometimes i think yeah. it was so at least they are not dry yeah the plants um i think it's nice now to just like a to have a little mood trip to summer summery uh Charente and to watch some video clips from the garden and from the house uh, in those summer sunny days mm that warms our hearts here now uh, in cold Finland. <laughs> <laughs>